You might have read that Eureka, the Higgs, let's celebrate champagne and go home. So this is kind of a situation where um, after the champagne, you have, uh, you have a hangover and you wake up to this problem and you, need to, and you need now to go and analyze the data. If we start thinking about supersymmetry the way we have been thinking about it for 40 years, the 126 is giving us a very big headache. It is, it is at the border of being acceptable for, for normal SUSY, which is the minimal supersymmetric standard model, MSSM. And it, you see the border there, and in order to accommodate it, mostly we have to make extensions of supersymmetry. So supersymmetry, the vanilla supersymmetry, is not good enough for this 126 Higgs. And if we consider other stronger dynamics and composite Higgs, it is rather too low. So it's too fat to be MSSM, it's too low to be composite. If there is no other physics, it, it makes a disaster for the vacuum of the universe.